right, so an interesting stylistic flash here. Prevailing Wisdom is he's going to try to take his opponent down and get off some of that patented ground and pound. Yes, and once he's on top, he starts to just gain control first. He does not try to rush to the next position because he understands whether or not he's in the guard, half guard, or side control, he can find ways to land big damage. In the side control, he does a really good job of going knee on belly, posturing his body all the way to the top, and just coming down with big punches. Boom, once he lands, he goes back and he's secure. Right. Then he goes back to fight another, another big strike. He does not waste energy, just throwing little rabbit punches. Everything has to matter, as you've seen in some of the great ground and pound fighters we've right. ever seen, like Jack Hermanson guy that beats you into the bottom of the octagon until you roll over and give up your neck to get submitted. Yeah, nothing pitter-patter about it. No. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 14 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, Corey Anderson. And now can you see his opponent fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, go into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, and nothing. You ready? Are you ready? Let's go. All right, so the fight is now underway on one side here fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the time. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chip. 
single collar sign out. Nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Anderson. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. That's real sneak by him. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Look at that leg. Got the single collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. Some nice back and forth action here. All right, again, he shoots for a takedown here and unable to get it. So the takedown defense reigns supreme yet again. The takedown defense is holding up, John. He's doing a great job of keeping his feet going backwards, crawling, dropping his hips, and anticipating the shots coming. Very well done. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. So he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round, really starting to find some consistency with that weapon. He's finding a hole for that hook. He does a phenomenal job of keeping the elbow tight, really twisting his hip into that punch. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks it. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed. Try, try again, was able to get him down. There. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to fix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top of the Next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Big powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Can't take many of those, you better check. Over and over, he's landed in big body kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Great punch. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Single collar tie, lucky transition, nice scramble. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook. Here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You can tell by his eyes, he's taking peeks. He's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land that shot. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on his feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the effort. Oh, there he goes. Yep, slapped him right there. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Big kick land. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination. Oh, collar tied. Oh, he lands another strike. 
right to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice strike. Slips. All right, so he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. We'll see what he can do. Timed it perfect. This will leave an impression in the judge's mind. And as his opponent, you can get back to your feet right away because you can also sway the judges by getting back up to your feet and maybe exploding with one last flurry. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. All right, well, we'll see if his opponent can make the requisite adjustments. He got taken down left and right there that previous round. It's gonna be very difficult because he never got a specific type of takedown. It was always something different but it always led to his opponent getting great top position. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to working the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop the you fight. you got to defend, but you can see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he saw these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt, he's been battered, he's been beaten. Now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. Well, the grounded pound is there once again. Strong work here by Anderson. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. He's done. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Aren't you good ground and pound by him here? Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Anderson, ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Under a minute now to go. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. 20 seconds to go. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes oh, it down. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Uh, you ready? You ready? Go, go. Slips that left hand. Well, it's one thing to have. 
have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Anderson. He is going to oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that he's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Straight right hand now just misses. Nice punch to that over the top. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Follows it up with a nice combination. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? What a body kick. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Visibly limping here. Oh, swing and a miss on the counter. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, that right hand is on the point. All right, he places the distance, gets the single follow tie. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh. Anderson's got the tie clinch now. Nice kick there by Lee. Wow, that right punch has been the money. Whoa! That is gonna do it! Corey Anderson! He got him! Oh my goodness, what a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 56 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by...